Right, today we're looking at Land Rovers, and this is a, an early 70s Series 3. It's in really good condition because they go on forever, but I've got a couple of tips to help you out when you're buying one. Now then, in the early 70s, this model came out, and this is about a 72, and this is what's called a Series 3. The model before this was a Series 2A, and the reason I'm telling you this is it's quite significant, because on the Series 3s, they actually started making the chassis out of much thinner material. Now, what I mean by a chassis is that um, the reason you see Land Rovers in so many different models, shapes, sizes, sort of army vehicles, fire engines, and vehicles like this on the road, is because they have like a steel chassis, and then they bolt the body on top. Now, this chassis is usually very strong, but on this series of Land Rovers, like I say, Land Rover went for a slightly thinner metal, and they do suffer from heavy corrosion. So you're looking all along the chassis, but in particular, these outriggers here, which you can see, and uh, they do go terribly, terribly rusty. So this is something you've got to look out for. Now, a Land Rover is just like a big Meccano set, and everything just bolts on, so you can repair most things at home. But the chassis, that's something slightly different, and you may need uh, professional help with that. So if you're thinking of buying one, or you've got one, make sure that the chassis area, front, back, and the outriggers are in good condition. Otherwise, you could be into hefty money. Or another tip could be to either buy a slightly earlier Land Rover with a thicker chassis, or a later one, a late 80s when they went onto the 110 series, uh, or the 90s, which are slightly more modern, and again, they went onto galvanised chassis, which should, in theory, last forever. So that's my tip of the week.